Hi guys, EBP Man here, and just a couple of seconds ago, I received a package from OtterBox that I wanted to share with you. Um, well, as you all know, the iPhone 7 is being released this week. Some of you may already have it in hand um, if you're on T-Mobile, but I wanted to give you access to, again, some more accessories that are available today for those of you who would like to pre-order some accessories for when your iPhone 7 comes in. All these cases are for the iPhone 7 Plus and are excellent choices if you're looking for some rugged protection from OtterBox. So let's do an unboxing. We'll take a look at how these cases fit, I will use an iPhone 6 Plus as the model. Um, the only thing that's really changed is the camera section here, so you at least get a sense of how these cases work, and that will help you with your buying decision so that you can have a case before the iPhone 7 comes to your door. So let's go ahead and check them out. So now as we take a look at these three cases, one of the things that is pretty common with all three is you're going to have excellent quality uh, when it comes to the build of the case. Really what you're looking for is a case that's going to fit a, your personality or your lifestyle. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, symmetry case here. Now I've been um, using a symmetry case for, uh, for quite some time now and I've been really enjoying uh, this case uh, because it is a thin profile case. It's made out of two materials. So the first is kind of a very uh, sturdy T PU material and then you have this polycarbonate hard material on the back. What I like about this is that it keeps your iPhone as slim as possible but still giving you again that certified drop protection like you see right here. So uh, this is uh, available in multiple colors. This happens to be a red one so what we're going to do is insert our iPhone um, into the phone case and all you do is just snap it in because uh, the TPU material is going to give and once uh, it's in place you'll notice that what I, I really appreciate uh, from OtterBox is the amount of screen protection that you still have available uh, despite some of the specs that come with the um, iPhone 7 and, and 6 uh, Plus. So you notice that you have um, some nice protection here. If I turn it at an angle, you can't even see the screen, which is important in the event that you do drop your phone face down. So you're going to get some really nice screen protection. It's going to protect your screen um, all the way around. You also have some nice controls. So you have, um, again, this is your uh, vibration rocker here. Volume controls are nicely uh, available. Um, again, with the iPhone uh, 7, what you're going to have is, uh, again, speaker grills on both sides. So you won't see this, but you can notice how the alignment is just going to be spot on. And then uh, you do have the OtterBox brand here um, and the power button. And then you have the camera area, which, again, uh, you'll notice that this still fits the 6, but your camera is going to be more in the center. So this is a really good choice if you're looking for slim uh, design, but still the OtterBox protection. Now the next case uh, we're going to take a look at here is uh, the commuter case. And this is also a really nice case that also has certified drop protection. So you're going to have peace of mind that you're not going to shatter your iPhone screen. Um, no damage coming to it. And this too is made out of two materials. It does have a TPU material. It's a little softer. And then it has this polycarbonate hard material. But nice bumper protection just like we saw over here. And nice screen protection. A lot of flexibility here. But the difference that you're going to see here is unlike the uh, uh, symmetry case, you do have um, a little hole here that's going to highlight the uh, the Apple logo. So we're just going to slide our phone in here. And again, because it has a TPU material on the inside, all I'm going to do is just slide it in and snap it into place. Now to insert the case, um, what I did is, it's just easier, I just wanted to show you just in case you do get this case, I separated the the, the sleeve, the inside sleeve, uh, because I just felt it was going to be a little bit easier to install this way. So um, by separating the sleeve, you know, you just pulled it out, and then what I'm going to do is just going to place it, and I'm going to start with the bottom, and I'm going to start with the bottom because of the cutouts that you see here, it just makes it easier, and then I'll just snap in each side into place. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and we'll snap this one into place here as well. And uh, once we have everything all aligned, we'll go ahead and review the case. Now that I have the uh, case in place, um, you can see uh, we'll start uh, with the front just as we did it earlier. Uh, really nice um, screen protectant you're getting right here. You'll notice that you do have some extra material that comes up all the way around. Nice uh, access to the controls in your volume rocker. Uh, bumper material, nice. You have, uh, again, this cutout for uh, your uh, charging port as well as your audio jack. Speaker grills are going to align perfectly. And then also you can see your power button here. Um, on the back, you have your camera cutout and then you have your Apple logo. But again, 
really nice looking case still in the minimalistic type thin uh, format so it's not a really bulky case so again um, if you're looking for something that is not a uh, more of a single um, I would say design so this is even though it's a two-part case you notice that it's more integrated this one has more of the sleeve with the shell on top of it but still has the cutout and again available in multiple colors but it just gives you some choices now the last case we're going to look at, and this is, I would say, a traditional OtterBox case, because this is the OtterBox Defender. Now the Defender, um, what makes this, I would say, case um, so special is going to be the fact that it's a very high impact case. Um, you'll notice that it does come with a uh, hip holster uh, that you're going to be able to use to um, place your phone into and snap it into place. And this is, uh, I would say, one of the most robust uh, type hip holsters that you'll find on the market. Very thick material. It's going to be very durable. I've never broken one of these, and I don't know of anyone who um, has ever told me that they have either. Uh, the material is nice and thick. Uh, you'll notice that it has uh, really secure uh, bumper areas so that um, if your phone does get caught as you're walking by somewhere, there's a lot of protection here. Um, you have this clip here here, uh, you'll notice right there, that's going to keep your phone secure. Uh, you also have this uh, notch here that if you put it on your belt um, and you do get caught uh, and move the phone up, it's not going to slide off your pants uh, because it's going to provide some nice protection. And then you also have the ability to angle it another way, just like we have it right here, so that you can hold it in your uh, hip like this. So a lot of flexibility. And what I've seen is um, I have a lot of friends that use these. These are going to be could be if, uh, first of all, if you like carrying your phone on your hip, um, if you're someone that drops your phone a lot, right, and I know people who do, then this could be the case for you because you're just a frequent dropper. So you may want to be able to get something that's this robust. If you are a, uh, let's say, for example, someone who works um, as a tradesman or woman and you're dealing with um, I would say construction type material, either woodwork or plumber, whatever it is, uh, I, I see a lot of the Defender cases used in that scenario as well. So this is going to give you really heavy duty protection. Now the case itself, and these are tricky, uh, well not really that tricky, but you know when you're going to be placing your phone and um, in the case, what you'll want to do is kind of peel it off just like this, and then inside what you're going to find is this hard shell. And uh, the hard shell also comes with a, a tempered glass or not a tempered glass but, or a film that's going to protect your phone from scratches so you don't really need a screen protector in this case unless you're someone like um, like me that switches cases often um, I have um, had these cases before with a screen protector and then I've used this on top of it and I haven't had any issues but again this um, once you have it in here you'll probably never switch so let's go ahead and we're going to separate these two pieces uh, and once we separate these two pieces and all you'll do is just catch the side and just separate it like that uh, we'll put our phone in and see how it fits now to separate the pieces I just wanted to show you just in case you do get this case and, and wonder there's um, these corners here that all you have to do is just lift them and once you lift them the case separates so you saw how I did that right there and then it comes off so I just wanted to share that with you because um, I would not want you to break your case as you're trying to separate it as you're thinking about it may peel off that easily uh, but that's how easy it is to separate it so just wanted to show you um, how you complete the actual uh, installation of the phone inside of the case. So uh, I put together those two pieces that you saw earlier and now what I'm doing is just uh, working my way around the phone uh, and just really just bringing this lip up and as you do it it kind of falls into place just like this and you just do that all the way around until you're comfortable with the installation now again as I mentioned this is the I would say the ultimate in phone protection because you have your cases inside of that shell and then you have this rubberized um, also area that's protecting your phone and you'll notice that there's areas here that are going to keep um, a lot of the uh, switches protected and uh, secure so here you have your volume rocker you'll notice that you still can see the Apple logo and you can still see the camera and it has um, you notice that the camera area is in an angle and that's done uh, for a reason the fact that's in an angle is to prevent back flashing so um, you won't get the flash coming back because there's significant depth there 
right? Uh, protecting your camera. Now, um, you notice on the bottom, you do have your charging port is going to be protected. But once again, uh, you have your uh, speaker grill that will be easily accessible. Uh, fingerprint sensor, even though it is covered, uh, it will work. So um, I logged in without any problems that you can see right there. And uh, the screen stays very responsive. I actually have a tempered glass screen protector uh, on this one. So let me log in. And you'll notice that I can still navigate. Um, left to right without any problems and have access to um, everything that has to do with my phone. So no issues there whatsoever. Uh, the uh, case is again going to give you that ultimate protection that you're looking for and that OtterBox is known for. Now, mounting the uh, case onto the hip holster, um, you could have it facing outwards, as I have right there, and it's a very secure implementation. Or what you could do is you can have it facing inwards. And then once again, it's going to be very secure. So it's up to you how you'd like to do it. Uh, this, the, the actual case itself does not serve as a... Um, or actually, I think it does. So let's just push this in. Yes, it does. So the uh, the actual hip holster itself can serve as a kickstand, which is going to give you the ability to just put your uh, phone in a viewing angle. So you could do one of these things, like I'm doing right now, flipping it over, and then I have the kickstand out, and then I can rest it so I can watch a movie. So that's a nice feature uh, and something that not a lot of providers have created when they have their uh Again, their hip holster. So to, to loosen it, all I did is I pushed over here, and then it allows it to close. So again, excellent quality from what you would expect from OtterBox. So this concludes our review of the OtterBox Symmetry, the OtterBox Commuter, and the OtterBox Defender. Again, these cases are all available today um, if you're looking to pre-order accessories for your iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 7. Uh, once again, ultimate protection, but still uh, having minimalistic type um, footprint and then also maximum protection, having a larger footprint. So I hope this helps with your buying decision. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe.